You mean to frighten me, Mr. Darcy, by coming in all your state to hear me. But I won't be alarmed, even if your sister does play so well. I'm well enough acquainted with you, Miss Elizabeth, to know that I cannot alarm you, even should I wish it. <sighs> what was my friend like in Hertfordshire? You really care to know? Prepare yourself for something very dreadful. The first time I saw him at the assembly, he danced with nobody at all. Even though gentlemen were scarce and there was more than one young lady sitting down without a partner. I knew nobody beyond my own party. Oh, and nobody can be introduced in a ballroom. Fitzwilliam, I need you. I do not have the talent of conversing easily with people I have never met before. Perhaps you should take your aunt's advice and practice. Please do be seated. I'm afraid Mr. and Mrs. Collins have gone on business to the village. This is a charming house. I believe my aunt did a great deal to it when Mr. Collins first arrived. I believe so. She could not have bestowed her kindness on a more grateful subject. Shall I call for some tea? No. Good day, Miss Elizabeth. It's been a pleasure. What on earth have you done to poor Mr. Darcy? I have no idea. <laughs> 